Friends by Helme Heine. Each morning, everyone on the farm was woken up by Ronnie Rooster. He was helped by his friends, Joey Mauser and Big Jonathan, because real friends help each other. That done, they got their bicycle from the shed and drove off into the morning. No road was too rocky, no hill was too steep, no curve too narrow, no puddle too deep. At the village pond, they played hide and seek. When Joey Mauser discovered an old boat in the reeds, they decided to play pirates because real friends make decisions together. Joey Mauser steered, Ronnie Rooster set the sail, and Big Jonathan was the plug. He was plugging the hole that was in the bottom of the boat. So they bravely set out into the water and during the course of the day they conquered all of the village ponds. But hunger drove them back to land. First they tried fishing, but their tummies grumbled so loudly that no fish was taking the bait. In the meadow, there stood a cherry tree. They picked the ripe fruit and divided them up. One cherry for Joey Mauser, one cherry for Ronnie Rooster and two cherries for Big Jonathan. Joey Mauser agreed to this, but Ronnie Rooster didn't think it was fair. So he got all the cherry stones too. When they had eaten all the cherries, Big Jonathan suddenly had to run off. And so did the other two. Soon, the shadows were growing larger and they cycled home. Behind the chicken shed, next to the water barrel, they swore eternal friendship and decided never ever to part. That night, they wanted to have a sleepover and went to Joey Mauser's. But when Ronnie Rooster got stuck in the door, they went to Big Jonathan's instead. But Joey Mauser had a very sensitive nose. So they climbed up the chicken leather and sat on the perch, which snapped under their weight. So they said good night to each other and went home to their own comfy bed. In their dreams they met because real friends dream about each other. The end.